Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I'm gonna ride the London Eye and I'm trying to time it right, which I think I've done, to ride it at sunset. It was built back in 2000, obviously the Millennium Wheel. You'll know on New Year's Eve, this is a vocal point for all the fireworks that celebrate New Year. They've got all these capsules around the side that actually turn as you go up. So I'm looking forward to going up on this. Let's do it. I mean, when you're walking up to it, it is just absolutely massive. Like I say, used to be the tallest observation wheel in the world, but not anymore. So obviously you have to pre-book your tickets. And get some lunch here. Just look at that. Absolutely massive. The camera probably doesn't do it justice with the uh, the support wires that go across there. But the sun is almost ready to set in London so it should be a very nice ride. Ticket entrance this way. Obviously there's a bit of a queue. But it's quite a popular time actually at sunset. It's not too busy today. So you can see all the guys go into each pot. Quickly give it a bit of a walk around. Make sure there's no um, security issues on there they've got like these mirrors and then you can see that they go and check it all out make sure it's safe i thought they were doing some cleaning oh no someone does go on there a bit of cleaning obviously they try not to stop the wheel at any point to keep it moving there's also a fast track which is why the queue is taking a little bit longer and obviously they try to not stop the wheel so as it's moving that you kind of get on it quickly and they shut the doors and off you go. So it's moving. Here we go. So you can sit down in here if you want, but uh, not a lot of people like to sit down. I'm going to stand right here to get the sunset. And all these rotate as it goes up, so it shouldn't affect the feeling when you go up, or should it affect your view of London? Shut in. Are you ready to be part of London skyline? Whilst you're enjoying the amazing views, the ride might stop briefly at times just to help other guests get on. This is totally normal. So look around and explore London skyline, but please keep a safe distance between you and other guests. If required, please ensure you're wearing face covering at all times. Scary how they're like hanging off the wheel. As they go up around the side, it kind of freaks you out when you think, look at how it's being held on. Obviously perfectly safe, right? Those tiny little, in relation to the wheel, the tiny little round bolts. But as you can see, the whole capsule is moving to compensate for it as well. I do suggest like getting up and a walk around because you get a better perspective as the capsules goes up. There's a London Eye River cruise. Look how it's being held on by that and by that. Scary, right? God, 
they look so high from here. It's making me feel dizzy. So we're getting to the top now. It feels weird when it stops for a moment. It feels like it swings a little bit. You can see where we boarded just down there. Just look at the sunset though. I mean, you could come on this at night as well. Great time, early morning. We're almost at the top. Can you imagine being up here on New Year's Eve with all the fireworks going off? <laughs> I know no one's allowed on it when all the fireworks are going off, but that would be totally amazing. That would be the best view in London. So we're just about to come to the very top of the London Eye right now, which is just about now. So let's have a complete 360 tour of what we can see. The Houses of Parliament just down there, it's the sun sets. You can see St Paul's, the City of London. You can see Canary Wharf in the distance and the Shard. Standing in the photo zone, this will probably look completely embarrassing. I love the fact that that actually looks like a camera. It's going to flash in a minute. Ready? Smile! There you go, it flashed. <laughs> so obviously it only does one revolution, but uh, definitely worth it. There's nobody in here right now, the last one to get off. They probably won't let me film it, but I'm going to go and check out the photo, see what I look like, because I stood in prime position. <laughs> it's definitely worth it, and I tell you what, if you're going to do a couple of tractions in London, it's actually cheaper uh, for you to get this ticket as well because obviously part of Merlin attraction so if you're going to do Madame Two Swords also get this ticket you save about five pound as well but it's definitely worth doing I hope you like the video please make sure you give it a thumbs up hit subscribe and click that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video if you want to see more videos from London just check down in the description or in the top right hand corner I'll see you soon